Welcome to Power Query video number three. Hey, if you want to download this file, as well as some CSV files that go along with this video, click on the link below the video. Now in this video, we want to see how to take multiple CSV comma separated value files from a single folder and import them using Power Query. Now Power Query is a free download. Excel 2010 or 13, you go to Google and say download Power Query. It's easy. But well, now let's check this out. Power Query is going to allow us to just say, look at a folder. It will go and get these and combine them into a single table. But check this out. Later when we dump new files into this folder, if we refresh Power Query in our pivot table, everything will update. It'll be absolutely amazing. All right, now let's go back over here. We're going to start by going to Power Query, From File, From Folder. We have our Browse button. We click. We can now navigate, and there's that folder. Inside that folder are three CSV files. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to click OK a second time. Now the Query Editor opens up. I want to come over here and name this All City Data and Enter. Now we got a bunch of columns based on information about those files. For this video, we don't need any of this. In later videos, we'll see how to extract some information from like file name. All we want is the content column. So I'm going to right click and remove other columns. These steps, like remove other columns, we can see them listed here. You can actually go back anytime through the steps. It's remembering them, and those steps will be saved. And that's how it knows how to do this later when we refresh. Now let's go over to View and Advanced Editor. And check this out. You can watch this being written. So Source Folder, there's the folder path. And so far, all we've done is remove other columns based on the content column. All right, now I want to click this double downward pointing arrow to expand the table. Now a couple things right off the bat. It looks like it got the field names from the first table. We're going to have a problem with some of the field names from the other table. But first, I want to click on City, go over to Data Type. I want to check out each one of these columns. Because sometimes when you're importing, it'll treat a date or sales as text. I see that it's interpreting it correctly. Look at that. This one, I'm going to actually change it to text, because this is never going to be used as a number. Now, let's go check out and see if we can figure out how to get rid of down here those records that show the field names. Because we'll get an error. It'll be text, text, text. And you can't have a date and text in the same column without getting an error. So let's click the drop down here. List may be incomplete. I'm going to load more. And check that out. It sees down there somewhere that there's city. Remember, I'm going to click Escape. When it sees city here, it will see date sales, and store ID. We can do that over here also just to check it out, load more. And sure enough, store ID is in this one. We won't be able to do that little trick on these because they're dates and we'll get an error. But let's just filter this. Boom. When I say city, it's writing in the query everything that's not city. And this will get rid of our field name records, which will cause problems. Click OK. Now let's go look View, Advanced Editor. All right, so we have Combine Binaries. And check this out. There's a csv.document. That is a function you can actually directly use. And in later video, we'll use that. Table, Promote Headers. And then here, Transform. And check this out. It got the first row as header, City. Type as text. Each one of these columns has a field name and a type. And then there's our filtered, not city. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to go to Home, Close, and Load to. Now here, Table, New Worksheet. That means we're dumping it into Excel. If I want to create a connection only, and if you're in 2013, you can add this to the data model. We're not going to do that. I'm going to click Table and uncheck Add to the data model, and then Load. You can check out the query. It's going through all the rows, all the files. And there it is, 664,000 rows. If I control down arrow, you got to be kidding me, control home. Now let's build a pivot table, because 
uh, it's going to be amazing. We're going to have this awesome report here. We'll just update, and it will instantly go out and get new files, which we'll put in there. All right, so pivot table, insert pivot table, or the keyboard, Alt-N-V. And I'm going to put it on this sheet just so we can see it all in action. I'm going to put it in F1, click OK. All right, store ID down to rows, sales down to values, right click number formatting, not format cells, currency, you know, with millions, we don't really need to show decimals. Click OK. Design, report layout, outline or tabular, I'm going to select outline. I'm going to close the field list. Now I want to add a slicer. Whoops, right click number formatting, what happened there? Oh, I clicked number instead of currency. Click OK. That's much better. Now we want to go to Analyze, and we want to add a slicer for City. Click OK. And the cool thing is, is we're going to get some new data from cities. We're just going to refresh. The pivot table will refresh. The slicer will refresh. Everything will refresh. All right, I'm going to save this, Control-S. All right, watch this right-click Paste. I'm adding two new files. And I'm going to do this in two steps. If anyone knows how to do it in one step, you know, I, I always use, or I like to use data, refresh all, and the keyboard for refresh all is Alt, Control Alt F5, which I keep trying and hoping the pivot table will update. Control Alt F5. You can see over here, that's working for the query. Wow, look at that, 800,000 rows. And we're done. Right click in the pivot table, refresh, and boom, check that out. That is just amazing. Power query. Is it not the coolest thing ever? Now I can do Tacoma. It went and got that San Francisco, Oakland, Portland. So power query to go and get multiple CSV files, build a pivot table, add new files, and instantly it all updates. All right, we'll see you next trick.